Navika, what do we make out of this? Is this not political opportunism at its best with elections around the corner in Punjab? That's right. In fact, uh, it is uh, the fact that Ghullar is a Sikh and clearly Punjab politics uh, needs to be seen as supporting Sikhs. And that's why we've seen uh, similar uh, uh, statements coming out both from the Shiromani Akali Dal uh, as well as uh, the, uh, the Congress party in Punjab. Uh, but let me tell you, uh, this entire issue coming to the Prime Minister's doorstep, because the Prime Minister himself is a Sikh, has put the Prime Minister's office in a tight situation. In fact, whichever way you look at it, whatever stand the, the Prime Minister will take on the issue, uh, will be a touchy issue as far as uh, uh, the Prime Minister is concerned. Because if he does decide in favor of Buller, it will be seen as a, a decision based on his uh, Sikh uh, antecedents. On the other hand, there is a entire process of law which has been followed. There has been a verdict that has come out, and uh, this verdict has gone through several stages of the judiciary and then going up to the president uh, for the mercy petition. It's only after the president's rejection of the mercy petition last week that this entire issue has now been uh, taken up politically by the Shiromani Akari Dal. And clearly at this point, the prime minister's office is uh, silent and uh, absolutely mum on the issue, not wanting to get into to the controversy one way or another because right. the, whichever way you look at it it could be a very tricky uh, situation for the prime minister to be in all right thank you for that navika now we spoke with captain amrinder singh a short while ago and he seemed to have a very different line as compared to his party aware of what the Akalis uh, are demanding, but you know, from my point of view, I think this uh, boy has been on uh, death row for eight years, and it's over 10 years are over, and a normal case, after 10 years, after life imprisonment, a person comes out. And uh, I also feel that this uh, um, should have been looked at, looked at in a different uh, light, and that there should certainly be some sort of a review of this case. I mean, once you've held a person for 10 years in prison uh, for a crime that basically people who, who, who are given 14 years or something come out after good behavior after 10 years. So the man's already been on death row for eight years and otherwise overall 10 years. I think that should have been looked into when this decision to uh, execute him has taken place. No, no. The, the point is, uh, it's it's uh, on on Afsal Guru's case or the other cases that are pending. They are still in the in the judicial process, so I cannot make a comment on that. And neither can I make a comment on on uh, what should be for other people. But here, the matter is over. It's out of the judicial uh, domain now, and therefore we and, and and in the public domain. And therefore, I am saying this. Congress does not believe in con commenting upon or dealing as a participant in clemency petitions, whether to grant or to reject. We would expect other political parties, including the Akalis, to do the same. However, if somebody or some organization like the SGPC intends to do so, it is between them and the constitutional process. That process asks threshold questions about the locus of other parties to intervene. Navika Kumar, political editor with us uh, on the phone line. Navika, on the point of political opportunism, both from the Congress and the BJP, a lot of questions which need to be answered. Uh, the BJP's uh, ally in the state demanding that uh, there be mercy shown to Bhullar, but their line on Afzal Guru is uh, something very different. Well, it is very clear, Tamanna, that as far as BJP is concerned, they have uh, maintained that as far as terrorists are concerned and terrorism is concerned, it should be dealt with with a firm hand. That has been the BJP's national viewpoint. But you have to see where their uh, allies, the Akali Dal, are coming from. The Akali Dal are principally uh, completely Sikh party. Uh, they are looking at this uh, purely from the point of view, uh, uh, from a uh, Sikh being uh, hanged, and that is uh, the situation uh, that they are trying to milk politically, which is why, uh, as far as the principle is concerned, the Akali Dal not looking at the principle uh, with which it has looked at uh, the Absal Guru case, but looking at this purely from a Sikh point of view, because that's uh, something that could give them uh, 
political dividends as far as Punjab politics is concerned. So uh, clearly this divergence of views uh, between the BJP and the Akali Dal are based on one uh, being a national principle of the BJP, the other party clearly looking at it uh, from the short-term point of view of Punjab politics and the fact that a Sikh is being hanged and they're trying to evoke emotions uh, against a Sikh's hanging in a, in a particular case. Tamanna? Well, thank you for that, Navika. The issue only grows uh, bigger as the row over Bhullar grows. Uh, there's no official word from the BJP yet on this, uh, though uh, the Congress has spoken in contradictory terms to what Captain Amrinder Singh is saying in the state of Punjab.